Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Pisces, you already know we're going to hop into it. We're going to collect the energy of your person. We're going to see how they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Please take the energy as how it resonates for you. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. You can stick around to the end. There may be something that becomes relevant for you, but if not, you can carry on to the next video respectfully. I would like to thank everybody for your love and support on the video yesterday. I really appreciate it. So thank you to everyone who viewed it, commented, liked, shared, whatever you do. I appreciate it. All right. So Pisces, let's hop into it. Let's get some messages and love from the universe. Let's see. What can Pisces work on to be better when it comes to love, romance, and relationships? What is Pisces? What can Pisces work on? Okay, we got 1111. 1111 is an important number for twin flame symbolizing harmony and balance in soulmates. Okay, Pisces? Hmm. You may have been seeing that number, but let's get all the cards out here. Okay, what else? Feelings. Take the time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. Okay. Honor. Treat people you love with respect and you'll find your relationship becomes stronger. Okay. Acceleration. Speed up. And chase the results you want. Okay. Admiration. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. Okay. So, for those of you who are in a relationship. You are with your twin flame or soulmate. Okay. This is the universe saying it's important for you. Wait, the 1111 is an important number for twin flame symbolizing harmony and balance in soulmates. Okay, so what that keeps throwing me off for whatever reason. So Pisces, this this you may not be with your soulmate is the thing. Okay, especially if um you know what I'm saying. I I don't know. I'm just not feeling like this is the one. Whoever you're with, for those of you in a relationship, I feel like you're with the wrong person. This person you're with is not your twin flame. There's no harmony and balance in this situation. Okay, for some of you, you're not with the person you're supposed to be with. Then we come down here to feelings. Take the time to explore the deep emotions you are experiencing. What are you feeling for this person that you're with? Is it true? Do you see yourself being with somebody else or single or are you cheating or, you know, stepping out on this? What are your feelings really telling you? What are you experiencing within your emotions when you're with this person? Are you happy? Are you sad? Like what's going on? The universe is asking you to take the time to, you know, feel what you're feeling. Experience those feelings. What are they telling you? Okay. Honor. Treat the people you love with respect and you'll find your relationships become stronger. So do you respect this person? Do you honor this person? What's going on? Because I asked in the beginning things that Pisces can do to be better inside of relationships when it comes to love and romance. So these are things you can do to be better in relationships. But first, you have to find the one. And I, what I'm getting is you're not with the one. You don't even respect this one. You don't, you're don't. you not even faithful to this one. Okay? Acceleration. Speed up and chase the results you want. Okay? I feel like there's someone else in your energy, Pisces, that you do want. And you're just dealing with what you have for the time being. Mm. Admiration. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner. What do you like about this person that you with? What do you appreciate? What do you have gratitude for with this person? Because there has to be a reason you're still there. You're still holding on. 
Okay? So, I don't know. Reconciliation. Learn to reconcile with yourself. I see past life. Hey. Huh. Reconciliation. Learn to reconcile with yourself. So, Pisces, this is the universe saying fix yourself. Don't get in a relationship expecting someone else to make you happy, someone else to make you feel safe or secure, someone else to sh show you how to love, someone who's going to love you more than you love you. It's not going to happen. Heal within yourself first. Learn to reconcile with yourself. Reconcile your own differences. Fix yourself before you get in a relationship. If you can do that, you'll find your true soulmate twin flame. You'll be able to experience your feelings on a whole nother level. You'll be able to honor and respect the person that you with. This will move fast for you. It will be like, yes, this is the one. Everything will happen naturally before you know it. You'll be deep in love and in a situation and wondering how did we even get here so quick. Right? Admiration, right? It's, uh, uh, the, the someone you could be grateful for, someone that you truly appreciate having in your life, opposed to someone you're just dealing with just for to waste time. Okay, so Pisces, this is what the universe feels like you need to know when it comes to love, romance, and relationship things you need to work on. Okay, so let's hop into the reading, Pisces. Let's see how your person is feeling about you. See what's the energy between Pisces and their person. Okay, we got the Six of Cups. I knew I saw a past life. Okay, this could have been somebody you've been knowing for a long time. Somebody you grew with or a past person returning. Okay, somebody from your past you could be dealing with. Woo. Oh, the Eight of Cups. Right, this is someone you've been back and forth with. On and off. On and off. Okay, and somebody wants this to be more happy, more stable. Okay, emperor. Somebody wants to be in control of their life, in control of their relationship, in control of what's happening. Okay, somebody's like in the heart of this. No, we're not about to do the back and forth thing. We, it's time to decide. It's time to make decisions. Okay, this emperor got the world in his hand. He got the bald ego. He got the shield. He got the onk of life. You know, it's like the emperor is running the show. The emperor has everything going on. Four of swords. Okay. Rest, rejuvenation, healing, repairing yourself. Okay. So I feel like, you know, this like the wounded warrior. I feel like when it comes to love, romance, and relationships, either you or this person been hurt numerous of times by a numerous of different people. Right. And and the lesson needs to be learned. So like that reconciliation card, like someone needs to fix they self before going into a relationship, another relationship. OK, it's like if you haven't healed from your past and you still feel empty inside and you have not taken control over your life, you need to sit down and fix yourself, heal yourself, rejuvenate your life like you know, shield yourself. Look how he's just laying there with his whole armor suit on. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's getting out. Nothing's getting in. I just got to take in what I have with me and fix it. So it's like fix yourself before you move to another relationship. This is why you've been so unhappy. Because you haven't healed the wounds that are within oneself. In order to become a leader of your life and to become strong, you have to heal first. Then we get the two of cups and then you can move forward with a relationship. Some of you may be in the same sex relationship. OK, but yes, that's what the universe is saying. I feel like this is a lesson in relationships. OK, um, yeah, so. You you deal with a lot of people that you dealt with before with the six of cups. You know, I don't think you really got anybody new in your life. I think you have people, the same person or the same people that you deal with from your past. And these people and yourself, you just unhappy with it. You know what I'm saying? You want more, right? The emperor, you want more. You want to move towards something that's strong, something that has a little bit of everything in it or about it. 
You know, you are unhappy with the back and forth situations you got going on. But the universe is saying in order to bring in a true love, a companion, a twin flame, you got to first heal yourself. You have to reconcile the differences that are within yourself first. So what's crossing all that energy is the sun. If you can do that, then you can have your happily ever after. You can have your heaven on earth. You can have the best relationships. But you got to fix yourself first. Okay, even if that means being celibate or single or just isolated for a little while, whatever you got to do to build up your strength. This emperor is all about setting boundaries. This emperor is all about it being in control, telling people what to do. You are the navigator of your feelings, your thoughts and everything about you. You have to be the one to take control over you before you can move forward and have success in any relationship. So let's talk to the Six of Cups, Pisces. It's like you only deal with people that you're familiar with. The same people, okay? But you've been looking and seeking out something more. You know there's something more, okay? Start listening to yourself. Take your own advice. You're very wise. Stop letting yourself, plan yourself for a fool. Stop playing yourself for a fool. By repeating cycles, dealing with the same people over and over, getting the same results. You smarter than that. Go out here and seek what it is that you truly want and need for you. Okay? This is about you. The hermit is alone. Okay? It's not the people that you're dealing with, Pisces. It's you. Find yourself. You're smarter than what you're leading on. Trust in yourself. You have all the answers. Everything you're looking for is already within you. You just have to seek it out. And you can't seek it out in other people. That's what leads you to being so unhappy. Thinking that you can find something in someone else. But everything you already need lives in you. So what else comes with the Six of Cups? The Three of Wands. It's time to move on, move forward, okay? You've been in this energy way too long. It's time to make a difference. It's time to make some positive change. It's time to start receiving what you deserve. An abundance of love. An abundance of life. A life with someone, okay? Learn to love and appreciate yourself first, Pisces. And that's the only way you're going to be able to move forward. Right? You see it all the time. Look at all that water. You see it all the time. Jump in that shit. I love myself. That's the water. That's my emotions. That's my feelings. I'm going to drown myself in it. I'm going to make sure I'm good. I'm going to make sure I'm healed. Right? Because the waters can heal you. Right? I'm going to make sure I'm healed before I move on and open my self up to another person right because I keep dealing with these same people getting the same results that's why I'm so unhappy it's time for me to move forward and seek out what I truly want what I truly feel my life's purpose my destination when it comes to relationships okay because you've been so unhappy because you've been dealing with the same people you've been having a rotation of people I ain't saying you've been dealing with them all at the same time but if you was to mess with anybody you Keep messing with the same people. Look, this eight of cups, you, you, you're right on time to the nine. You want to be happy. You want fulfilling relationships. You want something or someone you could be satisfied with. But the nine is about self. You got to find it within yourself. Ain't nobody out here going to make you happy. Ain't nobody out here going to love you more than you love you. You're going to get what you put out. So take care of self first. Find everything you're looking for in yourself first, and then it'll come to you naturally. You won't have to be so unhappy, you know, because happiness is available to you, okay? Just scared and worried, right? You, you, you need to create more positive thoughts. Speak victory over yourself. You're like, don't speak low of yourself. Positive change, Pisces. Because this nine of swords is also about self. Okay, you could self-sabotage a lot by your thoughts. Your thoughts create your reality. You've had so many failed relationships. 
you probably buried relationships all together. I see like she's laying outside in the graveyard in the dirt. Like, how did I get here? How did I end up so alone? How did I lose everything and everybody? Why do I feel so unalive, so unreal, right? Because you can't base your life off of how other people feel about you. You have to base your life off of how you feel about yourself. And if you put all, if you need to be validated by others, then you will always be scared, alone, and unhappy, because nobody's promised to you forever. The only thing person that's promised to you forever is you. So you have to make sure that you take care of you. You can't depend on people to be you. You can't get you out of nobody else. How are you going to get you out of somebody when you don't even know who you are? You don't even know what you want in relationships. You don't even know who you want to deal with. Right? Right? So you have to put your get your shit together. Your body believes what your mind believes, what you think is creating your reality. So speak victory over yourself. Don't belittle yourself. Don't talk negative over yourself, even if it's a joke over yourself, over your relationships, over nothing. Be more positive, Pisces. Take that time to be celibate. Take that time to be alone. Take that time to heal. So you could be prosperous. Because I see the emperor in the heart of this. It lets me know you can do everything. You can do anything if you put your mind in a more positive, uplifting space. When your thoughts sway negatively, you, re you reinforce positive thoughts around it. You change your energy around your thoughts. You're highly capable of it. You got the whole world in your hands. You're protected. You're wise with the with the with the with the I was going to say with the wizard with the hermit. You know the messengers, right? The power of life is in your hands. That's what I see all up in this emperor. The power of life is in your hand. You got all the tools you need to survive. Not only love, romance, and relationships, but yourself and the world around you. You hold the power. Set boundaries where boundaries need to be set. Have faith and trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. Heal yourself. Give yourself a chance to survive this life. Give yourself a chance to reach the sun and have the, the, your heaven on earth. So when it comes to this emperor Pisces, you got to take control over these situations and the people that you deal with and over yourself. Okay, but you a hopeless romantic. You back and forth out of people life too. You ghost people, you hurt people too. Right? You 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 think you good. You are good, but you know what I'm saying? Running around, rotating people, back and forth out of in and out of people life, that's hurtful. Hurt people hurt people. You know, this night of cups, you just a romantic, right? And your romance don't be working out because you haven't found self. See, look at the night of cups. He need to romance himself by healing himself, right? Or this could be people that ghost you. You give them everything. You show them everything with this emperor. You everything, right? You got everything that somebody could want out of love, romance, and relationships, but it don't last long because you got to be this in this strength of the emperor. You have to be in control. You navigate. You control which direction your life go in. Tell your horse to look up. Pay attention. It's looking down at his feet. Okay? So Pisces, keep your head up, man. Still continue to be loving. But don't let people run in and out of your life and don't run in and out of other people's life. Set strict boundaries when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. What else comes with the emperor? The lovers. <laughs> Pisces, all love situations come with its challenges. All of them. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. Nothing is set in stone. But you can have a divine twin flame soulmate. You can have that here. You can have true love. But you have to take control over yourself first. That's all.
Those are the two major things that you need to do when it comes to love. Set strict boundaries with love. Trust in yourself, right? Don't let people run in and out of your life. Don't run in and out of people's life. And know that all love stories come with its challenges. But you have to stick around to push through. You got to make it through the hard parts. Okay? But you have to be a healed person first with this four of swords. What is the energy of this four of swords? Okay, and we have the temperance. Fire and water. This temperance got a lot going on. That Sagittarius, that passion, right? That that water, that that Piscean energy. Because this ain't water with water. Okay, some of you could be dealing with people you just don't mesh well with. You testing the waters to see how far you could go with somebody that's not right for you. Can I turn somebody into what I want them to be? Because fire and water don't really mix. You know what I'm saying? It really don't. That water going to put out that fire every time. Okay, so Pisces, finding balance. Being patient with yourself. Taking the time you need to heal. Taking the time you need to, I was going to say heal again, but I see this like, like something about your passion and your love. You got to heal that. Your, your sexual parts, your loving parts, right? I feel like that's what you give up a lot. You give a lot of your body. You give a lot of your love. You make a lot of sacrifices. It's time to be patient with yourself and be patient. Save that shit for yourself. Balance it out. Learn it first. Something about this reading is all about learning you first. What can you handle? What's too much for you? What's too little for you? You know, bringing that balance to your life, but also giving yourself time to be a healed person. Fix yourself, Pisces. Stop letting people test you like that, okay? So it's time for you to heal and bring you into balance, okay? The Ace of Wands, right? Only you can do it. You got the Midas touch. Only you can heal you. Only you can find your righteous path to your destiny. That's it. And then the opportunity will present itself once you fix yourself. So it's going to take you to put in some work. Okay? You got to put in the work in order to get that relationship that you're looking for, that divine, that match. Because it's available. It's out here. The two of cups, the lovers, it's out here. But first you got to love yourself. That's the biggest love of all. But once you can overcome these things and get right with yourself, you can have that relationship, right? Once you heal, okay, this isn't for you to give up. This isn't a reading like give up on love, fuck love. No, this is a reading of loving yourself, fixing yourself, knowing who you are, making sure you're healed so you can have successful relationships, so you can align with what the universe has for you what was written in the stars for you already but it's certain things you got to do it's certain things you got to unlock within yourself for it to come to you right so you have the potential to make all this stuff happen and it's more than just ro love romance and relationships this is in life period all your relationships with people right but you could have it. It's already written in the stars. But there's things you have to do for you. There's a balance that has to be had within you before the universe will allow it to be shown to you or to come in. Okay. So, yes, you have successful a successful relationship on the horizon. It's definitely on the horizon. But you have to fix yourself. You have to lead. You have to stop running in and out. You have to stop letting people come in and out. You got to stop messing with the same people over and over. You got to seek out what's in you. Everything you need is within you. You're not going to find it in nobody else. Only you can fix it. Only you can heal yourself. Only you can bring this situation into balance. But you have to have patience with yourself. You have to be able to deal with yourself. Okay? 
So relationships are available. Loving, successful relationships are available when you are tapped into you. Pisces, high priestess, when you tapped into you, you make everything happen. You call in, right? You call it right on in. So this is the energy, Pisces. Let's see what's crossing it. The nine of wands. Don't ever give up on yourself. We know you've been hurt a lot. We know you've been fighting a lot. We know you sacrificed a lot. We know you gave a lot of your all to the wrong people. We know. But that doesn't mean it's over. That doesn't mean that's the end. That doesn't mean I got to accept this or settle for this. No, that means don't give up on yourself. Fight harder. Save yourself. Heal yourself. Fix yourself. All these nines is about you. It ain't about your person or the other people. It's about you fixing you so you can get what you deserve out of this life, out of these people. This is the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a practical self-care oracle to close out the reading. Let's see what guidance the universe has for you at this time. Love your journey. Be open to the idea of loving you. That's it. The universe needs you to all the love you want from somebody else. Give it to yourself, motherfucker. Give it to yourself, baby. All right. So Pisces, this is the energy. I truly hope this reading resonated with you. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the third chakra, and this is the solar plexus chakra, and this one is relevant to inner harmony. I trust my inner wisdom, and I respond accordingly. I do not allow my mind to create doubt or override my strong gut feelings. I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. I am at peace with myself and those around me, and I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or of others. I release the need to control others. My personal power is free from ego and free from any desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people. The foundation of my all my thoughts and actions is trust in myself. You can't make it up, Pisces. Inner harmony is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button, baby. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.